On August 28, 1942, Task Force 1 consisting of Yamato and Musashi engaged an enemy supply convoy at 0400 hours. All eight merchant ships were wiped out. Unfortunately, the two destroyers escorting the convoy managed to escape under the cover of darkness. However, we had a lucky break. The two destroyers were re-engaged at 0500 hours by Task Force 1 and promptly destroyed. Later in the morning, one of our scout planes picked up an enemy task force with two battleships in it. This task force was reported previously by submarine I-28, however, she quickly lost contact. The current plan of action is to force the enemy into a decisive surface engagement. With a little luck, we'll be able to pull it off. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series as the Imperial Japanese Navy. It is currently August 28th, 1942, and during the night, we destroyed more enemy merchant ships. We'll scroll all the way down here, and as you can see, August 28th, 1942, we sunk the usual six C3 cargo ships and two destroyers. We actually attacked these destroyers in a separate engagement. That brings our total ship sunk to 177. Uh, yeah, quite <laughs> quite the tally here. We have picked up a enemy battle group over here in this area near I-28. She actually picked them up last time. I had a little teaser at the end of the previous episode, and we had a float plane fly over them recently. However, we have lost contact. Um, this float plane is undoubtedly from that task force. So I'm going to try to force a surface engagement here with task force one here, which I have renamed with Musashi and Yamato. I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, screw it. Let's just have some fun. And, uh, I think having our, our surface fleets duke it out, uh, it's kind of fun. Care Div 5 is also moving in. We're going to try to start picking off all of these destroyers and all this stuff in the area here so that is the current plan of action i'll keep you all updated as you can see we are flooding the area with float planes they're all heading to this area in search of those enemy battleships it's a north carolina class and a south dakota i do believe so uh, it should be exciting we also have all these submarines and kind of a picket line here so if one of them is able to get a shot off we will do that I also probably will soften them up a little bit with our aircraft. I think it'd be quite foolish not to, but I do want to try to get Yamato and Musashi in on the action. Well, the situation down here is getting rather interesting. We have reestablished contact here on the three destroyers, one light cruiser and two battleships. We have one Jake tracking it and I-28 is attempting to follow this battle group. We have two groups of three destroyers here and then a couple of submarines. They're also sending quite a few aircraft against our subs. Um, we're just ignoring those encounters for now. I would like to send some zeros in and you know wipe out some of these aircraft, however. For now, we tried to send a group of vowels after some destroyers, however, they were very limited on range. Task Force 1 is closing with this task force, so this is going to be extremely interesting. We may have a daytime engagement here, which is Less than ideal for us. However, I think I'll counter it with a numbers. We have the numbers. And also, I'm going to send some aircraft over. <laughs> so we'll have zeros flying overhead of Task Force 1. So they can counter any um, American attack aircraft that may be in the area. That's really what I'm worried about. Okay, we have VALs and zeros over the enemy target. Our two battle groups continue to close. We are getting awfully close to them here. We are 95 kilometers away from the enemy group. Let's go to tactical and try to soften them up a little bit. Here they are. Here's our zeros, okay. We're going to have our zeros head off this way, shall we? We just want them providing cap for our vowels. Okay. And here are the vowels lined up perfectly, already at a kilometer height. What do we got? Okay, we're going to hit these two in the lead. Attack the light cruiser. And this group is going to attack the battleship just to try to soften it up a little bit. If I can take out this light cruiser and damage a battleship, I think we're golden. My main thing 
I don't really, even though I'm going to engage these guys on the surface, I don't really want to lose anything. I'd never hear the end of it, so <laughs> I do want to avoid uh, losing one of our ships here. But hopefully we have some good attack runs here. And these guys are about to go through a lot of anti-aircraft. Oh gosh, this is going to be brutal. Good luck, boys. Already a Val shot down. No big surprise there. And this is also why I didn't want to send in uh, Kates. They would have gotten torn to sh absolute shreds. There we go. Bombs away. Couple of hits there. Okay, more hits there. Beautiful. Let's see what you get here. All right, quite a few hits on the South Dakota. And looks like we lost four vowels. All right, get out of here, boys. They're climbing and zooming away. No crazy damage. However, the light cruiser has definitely seen better days. We got some pretty good hits on her. All right, good job, boys. Let's retreat. We'll send more in and try to soften up some other targets as well. Although we will be engaging this surface group in, what, two hours, I believe is what the map said. So the battle is very close. And wow, we sunk her. That is surprising, to be honest. We normally have a hard time sinking ships with one run, but that did it. Beautiful. Okay, we have another encounter here. Three destroyers, I believe. We have 12 vowels over Task Force 1. We're going to try to take these destroyers out with these vowels. Can I launch more vowels now? I can. Perfect. So we'll have these vowels over Task Force 1 to relieve this group that's going to strike these destroyers. Let's begin. Okay, perfect. We also have our zeros here to provide some cap. And there they are, three destroyers. That's exactly what it is. These groups of valves are going to head up here. I don't want to waste any of our ammunition from our surface ships on three measly destroyers. It's what I would call a waste. Same with utilizing using torpedoes against merchant ships. Our limited torpedo uh, supply, that's an absolute waste as well. Um, I'm happy we have all of our torpedoes for the engagement that's about to happen. Okay. Our valves are heading towards the targets. Beautiful. Let's go get them. And look at that. That is just fantastic looking. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any trouble taking out this enemy surface fleet. I am worried about, I don't know, losing a major capital ship, though. <laughs> um, we'll see how this goes. I'm worried about losing Yamato or Musashi, of course any of our cruisers. I mean, we have one destroyer in this formation. It's a little light on destroyers, but anyway, it's going to be fun. That's for sure. And that's what this is all about at this point. And I think it's pretty clear. I have won uh, the campaign. I mean, it's really just a matter of grinding the enemy down and uh, getting enough fuel and engineering supply to build the airfield for the victory condition. This game definitely has a pacing issue. Uh, I, I think anyway, I think that's pretty clear. But anyway, that's a discussion for later. I don't want to rant about that now. We have our three destroyers lined up nicely here. We're going to have one formation, of course, attack one destroyer. Another formation will attack another. And another formation will attack number three. There we go. Let's go get them. I have just the right number of vowels here. Hopefully we can sink all three. That would be fantastic. However, we're normally not that lucky. I, that's why I was very surprised the uh, the cruiser went down after the last attack. But, geez, I just love seeing our massive battle fleet in the background there. Okay, let's use some time compression and wipe these guys out nice and fast. Closing, probably. Yep, there we go. They're starting to shoot at us now. And they're beginning evasive maneuvers. 
Hopefully it's too little too late for him. And hopefully we don't lose too many vowels here. Okay. First formation is diving. This is looking pretty good. Come on, boys. Lots of flak. Okay, bombs away. There we go. A couple of hits into the side of her. Boom. That was a good hit on number two. And let's see what number three. Multiple hits on her. Lost one Val. Oh, beautiful. That was rather good. That was a good strike. We knocked out her forward turrets. What's going on here? Not sure how critical any of this damage is. Well, we were starting to chase them down. However, they are extremely far away. I think it would be easier just to re-engage them and finish them off that way. One of them has critical damage and one has heavy. We are going to retreat now. And none of them were scuttled. However, we got three command points out of that little engagement. Alrighty, folks. This is it. Task Force 1 and this enemy task force I have now engaged each other. We have two flights of valves in the area, which hopefully will be able to do some damage. But this is it. Let's begin. And hopefully this does not go terribly, terribly wrong. Let's start, and I want to, before we even spot the enemy, I want to get our ships into a decent battle line here. So Yamato, Musashi, and Congo, they are going to form up. Fubuki, Takao, Fubuki, Takao, Chokai, Mono, form up. There we go. And line ahead formation and start moving that way. Increase speed to 30 knots. Yamato, increase speed to 27 knots. Everyone, yeah, Congo's top speed is 30, I believe, off the top of my head. Mogami and Atago, form up. Increase speed, 33 knots and head this way. We will reassess the situation once um, once we have visual on the enemy ships. And I have visual. <laughs> there they all are. To the south of us, or to the south. Okay, let's unpause. I'm sure we will detect them shortly. There we go, there they all are. Let's have these vowels reposition. They're going to hit them. What are these two? This is the North Carolina. Indeed it is. I think we're going to hit the South Dakota and maybe these destroyers before they can pop off torpedoes with our aircraft. And now is the time to begin targeting. We're going to target the two battleships first, of course. I'm thinking of having Musashi target the North Carolina. Let's identify her. We saw she's going to target the North Carolina. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yamato is going to target the South Dakota. Target her. And you know what? Let's just order them to open fire. Let it rip. <laughs> uh, fool, do I even want to spot? Let's just fire. Just open fire. Just throw as much downrange as you can. There we go. Congo, you are going to engage the North Carolina as well. Make sure you're firing armor piercing, full salvos. Fire your secondaries too. Yeah, they're only HE in our secondary guns. Fubuki, I, I really don't care uh, just yet. We're going to launch torpedoes in the water soon, but go ahead and spot. Just get the solution up for you. Mogami, Begin targeting the North Carolina. Fire. No need to spot. Secondaries fire. Let's go. Fire. Secondaries fire. Okay, so everyone... Oh, 
Oh no. Um, go ahead and target the South Dakota, just for fun. Don't really care at this point. That's a lot of. Not everyone's firing. Okay. <laughs> um, fire, fire, Kai. Fire, fire. Okay, so if we flip through everyone, they should all be targeting either the North Carolina or South Dakota. Looks like we have more primarying the North Carolina. We'll see how that lasts, and we're about to just let it all rip. Okay, we'll watch our... <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. And they are already returning fire, of course, so I need to manage this battle. Okay, Fubuki, looking good. Okay, everyone's looking good thus far. We're just going to hit... Let's just hit the three destroyers with our with our vows. If we can just cripple them and get them out of the fight altogether, then we're golden. We're golden, if that's the case. Okay. Because our, our main threat is going to be torpedo. Let's just look at all the projectiles flying. Oh my gosh. I can't even hear myself think. All right. We're looking good thus far. Takao, go ahead and... Takao and Shokai, go ahead and launch your torpedoes. Launch all of your torpedoes. Let's do a pretty thick spread for the time being. Fire. Chokai, you do the same. Four degree spread, fire. Okay. Fubuki's already been hit. Let's change course. Have our valves change course accordingly. So just taking flak now. We already lit one of them on fire. South Dakota is now on fire already. Hopefully there's not a collision here, and that would be quite immersion breaking. Okay, how's everyone else doing? Fubuki, can are your torpedoes not in arc just yet? Adjust course. Yamato, change course slightly. Keep cross, cross this T. We're doing good. Okay, Vals, that's your time to shine. Attack. 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 There we go. Oh my gosh, are they really going to collide? Don't ruin this moment with a stupid collision game. Oh my god, this really going to do it. Oh, they're going to phase through. That's fine. I missed the disabled collisions. That's okay. All right, they're coming in. Come on, get that destroyer. One hit. Good enough. Okay, Vals are diving in. Okay, pretty good hits all around. Let's go back to our battleships and manage this. Solutions at 54%. That's not fantastic. It looks like they're trying to turn around. Let's have these valves move in. Fubuki. Solution is 66%. Torpedoes. Six degree spread. All of them fire. Let those things fly. There we go. Torpedoes away. Let's fire into that formation. All right. And you, my friend, we already lost a launcher here. Solution's 54%. We're going to fire all of our torpedoes, but a two degree spread. A little more narrow. Just flood the water with them. Okay. Fubuki, start heading south. What's your damage like? Okay. Just a couple of fires. Nothing too serious. Chokai is also damaged. She's been hurt. She has been hurt pretty badly here. No torpedoes on our port launchers, so we need to swing around if we want to fire more. That's actually a good idea. Let's swing around. Let's begin making our way around here. Yamato, start heading south. So far, so good. I'm actually... Looks like the South... Did I... Okay, wait a second. <laughs> uh, the South Dakota has been misidentified. <laughs> Let's fix that. North Carolina. There we go. I must have uh, flipped that with the targeting system. 
Okay, and this, this is the South Dakota. That may have been uh, affecting our solutions. There we go. All right, so the North Carolina is the one that's closest. I'm going to have Musashi switch targets. Stop targeting the South Dakota. Begin engaging the North Carolina. Fire. And you know what? Narrow spreads on you. Same with Yamato. And secondaries. There we go. All right. She is showing broadside right now. She's nice and close. She's the obvious target at the moment. Hopefully we can take out some of her guns. That'd save us some trouble. Chokai is getting hit again. What's wrong now? Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's got to hurt. Come on, Fubuki. You can do it. Overall, this is going okay. Destroyers are not looking too hot at all. Ogami. Okay. Doing all right. May try to close the gap here soon. North Carolina is up in flames now. Yeah, this is great. Okay, Fabuki, what's your torpedoes? Okay, can't fire. Oh, you're completely out. It's mostly to Cal. I'm hoping to can launch her starboard torpedoes. They're running away, cowards. Although it is understandable. Okay. Let's hit the South Dakota. We'll hit this destroyer as well. We want to slow down the South Dakota. She's kind of racing away here, 24 knots. This formation is going to break and hit the North Carolina. Slow her down as well. Oh, she's only going. Never mind. Go back to the destroyer. I think we can sink the North Carolina with what we have now. There we go. Looking good. Okay, valves are going in. Jeez, this is just awesome. See, this is where the game really shines with surface engagements like this. It's unfortunate that they're so rare. And it's kind of pointless. I could have achieved the same results with less risk to my valuable warships by just using my uh, aircraft completely. There we go. That was beautiful. But like I said, I'm going to have some fun with it. Second group of valves is closing in on the South Dakota. I think we have slowed her down. She's down to 13 knots. All right. Let her have it. Ouch. Perfect. Okay, Mogami. I don't want to fire your torpedoes just yet. I don't want to risk Yamato getting hit by our own long lances. That would be uh, bad. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. South Dakota is down to 10 knots. Great. And the North Carolina is at 10. Okay, and we hit this destroyer with more bombs. That thing's done for. I just keep firing at her, I guess. Are we firing? Yeah, we are firing narrow salvos. Beautiful. I'm going to try to swing this group around. There we go. Takao launched her other torpedoes. There we go. Chokai. Oh, boy. Poor Chokai. Uh, Chokai, you are going to just completely break formation now. Uh, the battle is done for you. Start heading north and try to get out of here. Mono. Head down south here. There we go. Battle is over for you. Mogami is going to try to swing wide. Oh, jeez. This is going... This is great. Let's check... This has gone much better than I thought it would, to be honest. They're all running away. They're only bringing one turret to bear on both of their battleships. Let's keep some valves just orbiting in the area. 
and kind of spot for our ships. Keep track of those destroyers as they race away. Looks like this one's going to get out okay. And there was just a secondary explosion on the South Dakota. Okay, looking good here. Start kind of heading that way, huh? Beautiful. I really couldn't have asked for better results. I don't know how, how our torpedoes are doing, unfortunately, with their drastic course change. We'll see if those end up hitting. It would be nice to get a couple of torpedo hits, but I'm not really betting on it just yet. All right, one destroyer is now sunk. That one is going down. We are continuing to really just crush these two battleships. I am curious, let's get a report here. Yeah, critical damage, moderate flooding. North Carolina, heavy damage, moderate flooding. Yeah, the North Carolina is going to be a problem here. We have both Yamato and Musashi engaging. It's like most ships are engaging the South Dakota, but Yamato and Masashi are the ones uh, targeting the South Carolina. Hopefully we get a few more good hits on her and really slow her down. She's already down to 18 knots though, so she is pretty slow. And there we go, another destroyer bites the dust. This one is probably gonna get away and that's fine. She can retreat as understandable. We're slowly maneuvering around here. Overall, quite the decisive engagement. It went much better than I thought. We have minimal damage on Chokai. She is getting that under control now. Uh, magazine is not flooding. We have two blacked out in compartments, however, so that may be problematic. She's definitely going to have to go for repairs. Damage is heavy, flooding is minor. So it certainly could have gone much worse. Okay, let's have you turn this way and launch your torpedoes. Once she is an arc, they will launch. Let's adjust this though. Three degree spread. There we go. Perfect. I don't think any of our long lances managed to get anywhere close to the American targets, mainly due to their pretty drastic course change there. Still getting pretty consistent hits here on the South Dakota. And it's only a matter of time before the North Carolina goes down as well. Jeez, look at that. That was definitely from Yamato. See our torpedoes. Whoa, South Dakota was struck by a torpedo. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. She may get another one. Two hits. Perfect. Awesome. Two torpedo hits, and one of these may end up hitting that... North Carolina there. And that slowed her right down. She is done for. Well, can I see any of my other torpedo salvos in the water out here? No, I really can't. It doesn't look like they're going to hit the North Carolina, unfortunately. Unless she uh, decides to turn to port, which I don't think she's going to do. <laughs> unfortunately for us. Maybe one will hit that destroyer. Wouldn't that be swell?
The South Dakota has been sunk. Now only the North Carolina remains. All guns now bear on her position, and we are slowly whittling away her speed and closing the gap. We are currently nine kilometers away and slowly closing as she tries to run away. This enemy destroyer is running off to the east. I'm not concerned about it at all. If it runs away, it runs away. Uh, obviously, the main prizes here are the battleships, and the North Carolina has actually turned to bring all of her guns to bear on Yamato and Musashi, which is probably a good idea. Although, I mean, look at that list. She is, she has certainly seen better days. She is not doing well at all. Damage in our task force is under control. Nothing too serious, all things considered. Yamato and Musashi have been unscathed during the whole engagement, so there is that as well. Oh, what's the ammo, ammo situation? Oh, we still have quite a lot of armor-piercing rounds. Well, here we have it. The last North Carolina class battleship is going down. That means the Americans only have access to South Dakota classes in this scenario. And there she goes after a long and hard fight. I have to say that went rather well, all things considered though. Minimal damage on all of our ships. No one was sunk, which was my primary fear here. And there we go. That's the last we'll see of her. And the enemy destroyer is running away, but we are going to let her. There's no sense in chasing it down just yet. If anything, we'll send more valves and start picking away all these destroyers in the area. And here we have it. One South Dakota sunk, one North Carolina sunk, two destroyers, 74,000 tons, and 87 command points gained. Minor damage on one of our ships and moderate damage and moderate flooding on Chokai. Overall, uh, we did pretty good, all things considered. We lost four aircraft as well, but <laughs> not, uh, not too concerned about that. There we go. We're up to 283 command points once again. Uh, who knows what we'll spend them on. <laughs> but now we need to begin the job of picking all these submarines off, destroying them and these destroyers in the area. We're going to do that mostly with our carrier. I do want to try to dive bomb these subs and uh, destroy them because they are the serious threat to this task force. We're actually going to have this task force start heading back towards Rental Island and Care Div 5 will start heading back as well. Anyway, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.